Thank you for tuning in to Race Grooves. We got a different kind of presentation today. I already did a international M case unboxing of a 2017 Hot Wheels. Fantastic case. It had two each of the Mazda Repu. That's a brand new model for 2017. Doesn't say new for 2017 because it's an international case. Has uh, no, no codes on the tags. We don't know what cases they... Can't tell from the card what case it came from. It had two Mazda Repus. Has two of the brand new Ice Charger from the Fate of the Furious. It also had two of the 17 Pagani Waira Roadster. Another 2017 new model. Had two of each of those. It also had some excellent, uh, well, you know, it had a basic treasure hunt. The 24 hours was in there. Uh, there's the Circle Flame logo behind it. It's not in every case, and if it is, it's only one per case. So it was nice to find it in there. I did not get a super treasure hunt. These were new to the case. Not new models, but had the Nissan Skyline and two of the Datsun Bluebird wagons. Let's see, what else did that case have? These were carryovers. Had a couple each of the Renault Sport RS01. This was a 2017 new model in the case before. It actually appeared in the L case, the Mercedes AMG GT. So I had two of these carryover. And last but not least, this was also, I believe this was a carryover from the L case as well, Aston Martin 177. So all of these cars that I just showed you, these are, <laughs> it's amazing how many nice licensed models there were that came out of this case. Well, so that's why this video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to compare. I got this from one source. Here is a international M case from another source. As you can see, it has different codes. It's still an M case, but it's MA. This one's MMK. Now, uh, this might have different mixes. So it'll be interesting to see how many of each of the cars it has. You know, the ones I just showed you, right? So not only do I have this international M case, I'm going to unbox a USA come on, table. I'm going to unbox a USA M case as well. This is the USA code. So basically, we're going to be comparing the contents of three cases, all of them M cases. This one's MND, MMA, and MMK. Three different codes, uh, US and international. So I'm going to open them up. And I'm particularly focusing on those cars that I showed you up front. Let's go ahead and start with the international case since uh, the other cars I showed you were international. By the way, uh, these were, hold on, let me check. Oh no, in this case, these came from the same source. The next case I do in uh, the in cases, I actually acquired them from two different sources. So we'll check that out next. But uh, this video, I'm kind of going to skip through the cars. We're mainly looking for the ones that I just showed you. I'm going to have to keep them separate by case. i got to make sure I put these cars on that side. Dodge Viper, RT10, Baja Holler. And quad rod, the new quad rod, not the uh, old quad rod. Project Speeder, Crate Racer. Oh yeah, Ford, G <laughs> Ford GT is a nice car from that mix too, but uh, we're not counting that one. Skate Brigade, there's one Mazda Repu. Brand new to this case, it was the first assortment, it first appeared in an M case, Mazda Repu. Hey, uh, they put them, no. Yeah, they put them on the surfboard, right? I don't know. I keep can't keep track. Sixty-nine Chevelle SS three ninety-six Ice Charger and the seventy-one Datsun Bluebird. These are the two that I'm particularly going to be looking at, keeping track of. There's a special edition Camaro, the Embosser Paradox. I like that Dodge Charger. Looks great. There's an Aston Martin.
another Ford GT. Well, maybe I should have kept track. Uh, there's a, there was actually one in the other case, I know. One in this case. And it was interesting to see the uh, Milano return. It was out uh, in a few cases uh, a few months ago. Batman Night Arkham. Bat Night, never mind. Next, RDO2, 90 Acura NSX. Was that one? No. There was actually two NSXs in that case, I recall. Piranha Terror. I only know because I just looked through the case just to see. Head starter and uh, Ford Mustang. Not a super. This is a super, uh, actually, M case. I don't remember if this was the super for this case or if it was. To, to be honest with you, I didn't. M case super. I don't remember the super. It doesn't matter. Skyfy. We'll know it when we see it. 17 Pagani Wire Roadster and 16 Camaro SS. There's a new model from this assortment that we're keeping track of. Just curious how many are in the case compared to the one I got already. Another embosser. Hey, there's the Renault Sport RS. We'll pull that out. Accurate NSX again. High roller. HW Pursuit and Bull Whip. Careful. Steam, Fangula, and Shark Bite. There's the AMG. Doing it up. There's the AMG. We're going to pull that one out. Camaro, Repo Duty, and Turbot. Yes, they're like, still like saying Turbo. Like it's French, Turbo. Hollinator, Wood 4 2, and Skate Brigade. I think my stack's gonna fall. We'll see. Futurismo, Cheval SS, no super yet. 69 Dodge Charger 500. Grizzler, Growler, sorry. Project Speeder, Fandango. My stack's leaning. <coughs> Hi Fi, Sky Fi. And there's another AMG GT with the Pontiac Firebird. Recolor. Seventy Pagani Wire Roadster, Shark Bite, and sixty-eight Dodge Dart. And if some people might say, you're going too fast. Well, this video is going to be different, okay? I told you that up front. Custom 62 Chevy. There's a ooh, couple nice from the case. This one's first, uh, not a new model, but it first appeared in this M case. I don't know if it appears in the N case or not. Mazda Repu 2017 new model. Flyby Renault. And Turbot. Quad Rod. There's your Skyline. And the Chrome Rig Storm. Let's take a quick look at the Skyline. Pretty hard to find this guy with good tampos. There you have the uh, bleeding of the blue on the edge. Doesn't quite fill the gap right there. This one's actually not too bad. <laughs> I'm sure if you guys have found this, I'm sure you'll agree. This is actually not too bad. It's pretty hard, hard to find one in a great shape. Uh, this one's actually in pretty good condition as far as the decorations. Just that little bit on the edge on the back window there, roof line. And last three, there's Motosaurus, the Ice Charger, and the SRT Viper. Hmm, did I go by? I don't even know if I got a basic treasure hunt. But there's the ones that I pulled out of there. Let's take a uh, quick count. Well, I'll do the count at the end. We want to keep it moving. Now, USA long cards, M case.
Oh, okay. Got a little bit of a uh, got a little bit of bent cards up there at the top. Uh oh, uh oh! Look at that color. Look at that color. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Ah, it might be regular. We'll have to pull it out to see. Da -da, da -da -da. This way, no switcheroos here. Oh, there you go. Super treasure hunt. 2005 Ford Mustang. Came out of the USA case. So with people saying they're easier to find in the USA cases, well, it, it does seem to be that way, but I have pulled them from both. This one has a TH logo on the roof. Curled card over here. <laughs> uh, rubber tires. Special paint. As you can tell compared with that one. You definitely can tell the difference, right? There's your regular release. Then they made a superized version. And the superized version is designated as the MK Super Treasure Hunt, MK Super Treasure Hunt. You have your uh, 2005 Ford Mustang Super, Futurismo. We'll put that one in the special pile. The other ones, you're nice. Well, we're actually not focusing on those uh, cars anyways. But we got to look at the Super, you know. Turbot, there's your ice charger that I'm looking for. Ford GT Race. There's your special edition Camaro. Mazda Repu. Should angle it, get the glare off of there. Ba ha 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 holler. Love Piranha Terror. Love this color. Looking good. You know, it's not exactly one that people, collectors like. It's you might say it's kid stuff, but I, I like it. I, I like tropical fish, so that's why I like it. Let's get that ice charger. That's what we're counting. There is your Milano. And my chair keeps squeaking as I get up and down. But I'm trying to reach the cars, push them further away. i got to keep my stack going over there. There's a Nissan. Let's take a look at the uh, decos. Mm, not too bad. Yeah, this one, I see a little bit right there. A little bit of splotching right there. A little bit in the back. Mm, it's all right. My other one was better. There you have a couple American cars. Bing, bing, bing. Bong, bong. 71 dots and Bluebird. Viper. 24 hours. This one had a basic treasure hunt. 24 hours. I don't think it was in the other ones, but I'll double check. After I unbox this, I'll, I'm going to go through the cars and then I'll have a little uh, added uh, synopsis, Milano. But mostly on the cars that I talked about. I'm not going through 210 cars and counting each one. You can kind of see, you might notice which cars were in which case. And may, maybe they weren't in the uh, international. Maybe they weren't in the worldwide. Hey, two in this one. Look at that one. Look at that corner right there. Is that paint or is that damage? Yeah, see, that's the, that's the thing that I'm talking about as far as paint goes. You got spotting right there. Up on the corner there, you got that. On the back, a little thin, you can see through. You got dots over here. Not the best. When I do track time, yeah, you can suggest for track time, by the way. When I do track time, you can rest assured I'm going <laughs> to pick one of the cars that doesn't have the best paint job because it might be going through the booster or maybe get banged up. I don't know. At this time, I don't know which, what kind of track time presentation I'm going to do. Hollinator. No sport. We're counting that one. Just something different for this case unboxing video. Actually, case unboxing, triple case, double case unboxing video. Up and down, up and down. Mazda Repu. Check out the bed real quick. I wonder, where's my light? Got my lights in the way. I wonder if they're going to start doing like uh, bed variations like they're uh, finally doing over there on the matchbox size side. Personally, it makes it kind of interesting to collect. You look for different variations. Rig Storm.
Not that I necessarily have to collect every variation, but I do like variations. I would seek out like bed variations to where if it was a plain bed or if it had something in the back. Let's pull out that Aston Martin. Super treasure, huh? Can't believe I got a super. There's your Dodge Viper. Custom Ford Bronco. Do do do. Oh yeah, since this was an M case, those new models, we're gonna take a look at the back right now. Hang on. There's the Pagani Roadster. A couple samples of that. We'll do that real quick right now, and then I'll come back. I'll come back with the uh, synopsis of counting up how many of each model there was. Just on just the ones that I focused on. Here's the AMG, it's not new to this case, but you can check that out. The Skyline, they don't have any information there. The Super, oh yeah, look at that card. Nothing on the back of the Super either. Hey look, I could put it through the boosters. The AM, I mean the Aston Martin, nothing there. Mazda Repu. There's where it has it. That's what it has on the back. Renault Sport. Nothing in particular. 24 hours. Nothing. That was the treasure hunt. Nothing there. And one last. Repu. No, I did the Repu. Ice Charter. That's the last one. Here's a... Uh, oh, Dotson Wagon. Hang on. Dotson Wagon. Nothing. And here you have the Ice Charger. Okay, I'll be right back uh, with the little synopsis. Okay, I repacked the cases. I did not notice any errors, anything in particular. This is the case that I opened previously. These are the two that I opened today. These two came from the same source. This one I got from a different source. Both of these are international cases. Let's go ahead and take a look at the contents. By the way, I paid for the cases myself. I'm not sponsored. And that's why I do not mention the dealer's names. Um, okay. Here we go. That's the contents from each case. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now the AMG, like I said, love this, love this car. Uh, you can see the stack they came from. This one had uh, two. I believe this was carryovers, right? Two, two. You don't mind when these types of cars carry over into the next case. Nice, nice looking cars. We had one of the Aston Martin 177 over here. Both international cases had one, as well as the USA case. The other carryover I was taking a look at was the Renault Sport RS01. Two, two. Ah, that case only had one. Here we have my case, MK, Mark Asimov, that's my case. I'm not going to cut that case. I'm going to keep that case forever. Had two of the Datsun wagons. Both of the international cases had two of the Datsun wagons. And the USA case had, uh, oops, had an order. Had you fooled, had me fooled. Only one, the USA case only had one of the Datsun wagon. Treasure hunts. That basic, uh, that international case had a basic. This one didn't have a basic or a super. And the USA case had a basic and a super. So it just goes to show you, you can get both in a case. You can get one in a case. You can get none in a case. Mattel says that they are randomly inserted and it would appear to be the case. And if you look at the tape, the tape's all good. You probably look when I cut the, the tape. Uh, no, no funny business going on, at least not um, after it was sealed. Let's just say that. Got one of the Skyline there, one in the 
other international case and the USA case had two of the skylines two skylines so the USA case had two skylines and one Datsun whereas the other two international cases they had two of the wagons and one of the skyline right there's one skyline and there's two wagons you already showed you now what do we have here these are the brand new models to this case right so the ice charger was brand new to the case you got two you got two and you got two so that was equal quantities to the roadster pagani roadster to the pagani roadster and uh, there's one to the pagani roadster and the mazda repo they had two as well so uh, that was a different kind of presentation it was nice to check out uh, you know side by side you get an example right so you have different codes mk ma nd you got international you got usa they this one right the treasures were different oh one more thing i want to check i want to show you the the base codes right the production codes let me get a card that makes it easy to see so this this one here the basic treasure hunt was k16 this one over here had a, a basic treasure hunt as well k15 <laughs> uh but i got that case i got the usa case after that one but it has a production code from before where's the super oh you know it does seem like they make the supers before though it seems like they make a bunch of supers set them to the side and then they insert them in the here's the super sorry got it mm, it's gonna be hard to say see k14 it's gonna be hard to see because it's stamped in there k14 the super came out of here this is the basic out of here now let's check out the ice charger from the left k16 from that mmk ice charger nope gotta make sure i'm looking at the right ones now they might be getting mixed up this one's easier to check because of the color of the base orange oh it's not printed k16 for the mk K16 for the other international case and for the USA case K16 had the same code K16 anyways thanks for checking out my unboxing video here's some other selections if you so choose happy collecting and have fun with your toys bye bye